Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Cider Pop Central and well I hope you like the uh, new intro I thought it was time to do something a little bit different for uh, when I review a Cider Pop just to give you guys the warning sign and yes today it's a newcomer to the channel not done anything from this company before and to be fair even though it's been going since 2012 it's only recently that I've started seeing it on supermarket shelves today I'm with Crane's Cider Company and I am taking a look at their can of raspberries and pomegranates now even before I get round to actually seeing what's inside this can, I already have a couple of gripes with this company. Because um, they are essentially trying to market this as a lighter and better for you cider pop than other, than other ones that you can get. Um, it comes in 330ml cans, as you can see, and also comes in 500ml glass bottles as well. This is uh, created by founders and twin brothers Ben and Dan. Uh, from Cambridge, UK, as I said, uh, from 2012. So it says, Ben and Dan, the Cranes twins, brew the finest cranberries alongside apples to deliver this refreshingly crisp cider with raspberries and pomegranates for that delicious fruity taste. Now there's the first gripe I have. This markets itself as a cranberry cider. Cranberries don't make cider. It's apples. So the fact that you're saying finest cranberries alongside apples, the main commodity of a cider is now just an addition to your drink. In fact, one of the flavors they do is called blueberries and apples. Now do you see why people don't really know what a cider is supposed to be? Because of things like this. Um, but it gets better. It says on the front, naturally light. 30% fewer calories. On the back it says 30% fewer calories than brand leaders by utilizing the fruit. How do they utilize the fruit? They don't say, but on their website, which I'm sure a lot of you probably wouldn't even look at because, you know, um, why would you look at a side website for this sort of thing? Um, they utilize the fruit by just using the natural sweetness of the fruits. So at least I suppose there's nothing artificial in this um, cider pop from what I can tell anyway. But the fact that they're saying it's 30% fewer calories, but it has nutritional information on the back and it says 45 calories per 100 mils. That works out at about 220 calories in a 500 ml bottle, which let's be fair, isn't that low to be honest. It might be compared to the likes of, I don't know, Copperberg or something like that. But to say it's naturally light, again, is misleading. And not only that, but on their website, there was a quote from um, one of the twins, I can't remember which one, and it said something along the lines of, we wanted to produce an amazing drink that didn't have loads of sugar in it. I don't count 5.7 grams per 100 mils of sugar to be less sugar. In fact, that works out at about 28 grams of sugar in a 500 ml bottle. Again, probably less than Copperberg, but come on. That's still not that great. So, gripes over and done with. Um, admittedly, I do quite like the can design. It is, you know, eye-catching. You think, okay, I want to give this a go. The bottles that I've seen are £2.49 normally, at least in uh, my local supermarkets. But I did manage to pick up this can for 99 pence from B&M. So, there we go. I don't mind paying that well. I say I don't mind paying that. I've not actually seen what's in it anyway. Um, so... Let's uh, crack this up. Oh, by the way, it comes in at a pretty bog standard 4% ABV, as most cider pops do. So, let's get this can open and just see. <laughs> okay, that was um, that was just a face full of sulfites right there. Oh, okay, I shouldn't have done that, but there we go. Uh, so yeah, sulfites. Sulfites and more sulfites. Do you know what? I had a feeling it was going to be this colour as well. Okay, let's go in for the colour. And yeah, as you can see, it's, I would say, lightly carbonated, uh, completely filtered. You can, I can see right through that. But yeah, it looks a little bit like Ribena in the glass, doesn't it, really? Uh, or cranberry juice. To be fair, it does have the look of cranberry juice. Um, well, I suppose if they're marketing it as a cranberry cider, that's what it's supposed to look like, I guess. So, what does it smell like? <sighs> I 
okay. Well, it smells of cranberries. But there's this... There's this mouldy, mouldy egginess that is just permeating and overpowering the cranberry. I'm going to be honest. I mean, there might be slight hints of the raspberry, but I'm really not getting anything to do with pomegranates and certainly nothing to do with apples, that's for sure. Um, it, it doesn't smell the most appealing, let's just put it like that, but as we all know, it's in the taste, so let's find out. Cheers, everyone. Here's to Crane's Cranberry Cider with raspberries and pomegranates. Cheers. Okay. By the way, apologies for the sounds. Of course someone decides to mow the grass as soon as I start reviewing. Of course they do. Um, that's really strange. It's a balance. It's sort of... There's nothing to it. And there's also a lot to it, if that makes sense. The aftertaste is non-existent. There is nothing there. It's like you've just drunk water or just like cranberry juice or something. Very slight, slight hint of cranberries on the aftertaste. As you're drinking it though, basically the aromas are in the tastes as well. Slight hints of cranberry, a little bit of raspberry, but that funky egginess is still there. Malt, like, almost like something has gone off in this drink. And not only that, I don't know whether it's just because it's come from a can or not, but you're getting a really tinny metallic taste um, underlying absolutely everything as well. Oh. And as I drink it, the egginess is just multiplying. Admittedly, I will give it this. It doesn't taste anywhere near as sugary sweet or cloying or anything like that. It's like other uh, cider pops you can get. So that to me does say that there is just natural stuff in this, which, you know, I give it credit for. However, the tastes are really not that nice at all. Uh, if they got rid of the egginess and the slightly metallic uh, flavors here, it might be okay. It might be, but the fact that it is there is just really, really off-putting. Um, oh, excuse me. Oh, even even that burp wasn't that great. Um, let's go for a final taste before a final verdict. Yeah, it's really weird. Although, having said that, the back of my, like... My mouth is starting to sort of like cloy up now. So have they added sugars to this? I don't know. It didn't really say much on their website to be fair. Uh, but I'm not that impressed by this to be fair. When you compare it to the um, Elska um, ciders, uh, cider pops that I've done like just recently, this isn't a patch on them. However, having said that, if you gave me this or Copperberg or a Lig or something like that to have, I would Probably pick this over them, but that's not really saying much. Uh, yeah, the, the, the flavours are really subdued, and it is just all those awful, awful tastes that you get, which is just... It doesn't really make you want to try any more of it, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, let's get the old chalks out. You know what? I'm really glad I did not spend £2.49 on this. I mean, that is that is definitely, definitely a rip-off. So... Uh, with that said, I am going to go and give Crane's Cider Raspberry and Pomegranate Cranberry Cider a 4 out of 10. So, yeah, it's not as bad as some cider pops I've had, but I've definitely, definitely had better as well. Uh, I mean, if you are intrigued by this, I don't know if B&M still have it for 99 pence a can, but what I would definitely say is do not waste £2.49 on a bottle of this because 
I don't think you'll enjoy it, even if you do like these sorts of drinks. With that said, that's another episode of Cider Pop Central for you guys. I hope you liked it, and as usual, I'll be back with another delicious and tasty cider drinker review soon. Until then, um, I might just plough through this. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to see how I feel. Take care, guys. Till next time. <laughs>